All right, so the first step in this creative edit, we are going to do some color adjustments with one of my favorite tools, which is the Curves tool, and we are going to apply them non-destructively by applying an adjustment layer. So we're gonna go ahead and add a Curves adjustment layer as our first step. We're gonna go ahead and click OK, and then we can make our adjustments from the Curves panel. So what I wanna do is I wanna add some blue tint to the shadows and I want to warm up the highlights just a little bit and this is going to help create the final look that I want which is a hot hazy summer day so we're gonna go ahead and select our blue channel so first we're going to adjust the highlights by adding some yellow to the highlights we're gonna click and drag from up here and that adds yellow I don't want to do a lot just a small amount and then we're going to add some blue to the shadows which is represented on the grid right here this is the black points or the shadows and we're going to click and drag up to add blue not going to do too much i just want a small tint of blue and there we go that's it for the first adjustment layer the second adjustment layer we are going to add another curves because i want to add a haze effect to the image we're going to add another curves adjustment layer then we're going to create a small S curve. And here is how you create the haze. We're gonna click in this bottom left corner and we're gonna drag it up. And as you can see, the image is getting flatter and flatter. Now you can create a look like this, which is also known as a matte finish. It's really flat, not a lot of contrast, but I don't want to go that far. I want to go down just a little bit, maybe right about there. And that creates more of a hazy type look. So if we take a look at the before and after, we can see it's kind of flat, but not as flat as what I had showed originally. And it just kind of gives a haze to the image. Of course, we can also adjust the opacity if we want to lower the effect of that particular adjustment layer. So I think I'll go ahead and drop the opacity down to 75% just to kind of tone it down just a little bit. And maybe I'll come back later and readjust it for the final adjustments if I think I want to add some more haze back to the image. All right, so that's it for this part of the creative edit. In the next lesson, we're gonna add some light leaks to our images. So if you're ready to do that, let's do it.